Good morning, Village Church. It's Cassandra Christopher. Today, I would like to read you a devotional I prepared that I call Follow Jesus. In scripture, Jesus says, follow me 13 times in the Gospels. Following Christ can be difficult to do each and every day. We must make following Jesus part of our everyday routine. How do we do this? While reading, I found some practical ways we can do this very thing. If we strive to follow Christ in everything we do, we will reflect his good news to others and we will bring him honor and glory. So let me read you what I found. First, love your enemies. This comes from Matthew 5, 44. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. When we treat others with kindness in all situations, even though it's challenging, it is doable. Second, love your neighbor. Matthew twenty-two thirty-nine. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Showing love to others is easy when we, when we regard them higher than we regard ourselves. Third, don't judge others. Luke 6, verse 37. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Keep our eyes on the areas we need to improve before we look at others. Number four, be humble. Matthew 23, verse 12. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and to whoever humbles himself will be exalted. We need to practice humility, for Christ, our ultimate example, was humble each and every day. Number five, don't worry. Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Remember, God knows all of our fears and what can make us anxious, so we need to remember to pray to him about those things. Number six, follow the golden rule. Matthew 7 verse 12. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law of the prophets. Treat others as Jesus did. This is our best example. Number seven, worship God wholeheartedly. I have two scriptures for this one, John 4.24 and Psalm 34.1. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, so that he drove him out and he went away. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Worship, praise, and thanksgiving should be a part of our day, every day. Number eight, show Jesus in everything you do. Matthew 5, 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Our light should shine bright for Jesus. Actively make a difference for him. Number nine, seek God first. Matthew six thirty three. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Intentionally seek God's will for your life. And lastly, number 10, deny yourself. Mark 8, verse 34. And calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross, and follow me. Following Jesus means daily denying ourself, and he is worth that. Let me close us in prayer. Lord Jesus, 
Help us to be more like you in our thoughts and actions. Let us attempt to be more like you in everything we do. Thank you for equipping us to do that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening today. I hope you have a beautiful afternoon and a wonderful week ahead.